mean, it was funny. You know, I said, we're still averaging about what we normally average points wise. We're just putting it with a bunch of people scoring six points a game. So that's a little different. After missing all last season due to injury and the start of this season, Talia White is currently second on the team in scoring at just over seven points a game. Coach Nielsen is looking for big things from the redshirt junior down the final stretch of conference play. She's just now starting to hit stride. She's one of our highest basketball IQ players, great shooter, um, just a smart player. It's really like having another coach out on the, on the floor. If we're going to have a good finishing stretch here, she's going to be a big part of it. Coach Nielsen says Utah Valley is playing with more confidence now, and the Wolverines are starting to hit their stride at the right time. You look back over my four years here, we've beaten somebody here that's been a surprise. Um, and I, you know, I feel like this could be it this week and that's no disrespect to them. They're really good, but I like where we're at and I think we can make this one pretty interesting. Stephen F. Austin will look to get back into the win column this week after falling to California Baptist on the road this past Saturday. The Lady Jacks have three players averaging in double figures in scoring in Kirsten Harden, Kyla Deck, and Destiny Lombard. Defensively, Deck leads the league in steals, averaging three a contest. The Lady Jacks head to Orem, Utah to face off against the Wolverines tonight. That will be a 6 p.m. Mountain Time tip on ESPN+. Other Thursday night games around the conference include Southern Utah visiting the College Park Center to take on UT Arlington. Grand Canyon is at Seattle U, and Abilene Christian will play Tarleton State at 7 p.m. Central Time.